Light tapping on the window causes the person sleeping in the bed nearby to stir before their heavy snoring continues to echo throughout the semi-quiet room. The only other noise that can be heard is the whirling of a fan, the blades quickly turning to make the room cooler. However, it doesn't seem to be helping because the blankets are quickly kicked off and land on the floor. The bright red numbers on the digital clock residing on the nightstand read 12 o'clock in the morning. A few more taps sound on the window, only louder this time. The person stirs again when the window creaks open. Freakishly long, black fingers grip the windowsill. A contorted dark figure is hoisted up onto the white-colored ledge before landing on the floor with a hard thud. The weird creature slowly crawls to its feet crooked nose pointed into the air, deeply inhaling the surrounding area. It creeps closer toward the bed, the nasty fingers wrapping around the person's ankle. The creature begins to pull the slumbering person out of the bed, their head cracks against the hardwood floor, prolonging their unconsciousness. A long red tongue glides across the ankle it still has gripped in its hand, the jaw becomes unhinged as if it had been broken and dagger-like teeth sink into the juicy flesh. The person is not able to cry out in pain, not able to move or kick at the creature. Poor soul, their death is inevitable. Blood squirts in the air and splatters on the floor upon the creature viciously tearing the limb from its proper place. Unsettling laughter erupts in the darkness as the sound of bone crunching fills the air. The hunt for something delicious has finally been completed. This creature has found the most tasty thing in the entire world. Too bad its meal will be devoured within a few moments. A woman quickly sits upright in bed, sweat drenching her forehead as her chest rapidly rises and falls. She has had the same dream for a month now. The same creature creeps into her bedroom at night, grabbing a hold of her ankle and maliciously tearing into her dark-colored skin. Tears roll down her cheeks at the horrible dream she had awoke from. She must be questioning if the dream means something, questioning if her life is about to end. However, she shakes the dark thoughts from her mind and lays back down on the mattress. The clock sitting on the bedside table reads 12 o'clock in the morning. A light tapping at her bedroom window can be distinctly heard alongside the whirling fan blades. Had she actually been dreaming of the creature, or had she woken up to it before yet survived due to it being scared? Who knows? The only thing that can be confirmed is, I sit in the corner of the woman's bedroom creepily watching over her as she peacefully slumbers. I am the protector of her dreams, making sure to capture the bad ones and lock them away. I am the dream catcher hanging on her wall, the only one who can tell whether the dream is bad or good. As for reality, I cannot speak to that. I simply harbor the dreams in order to provide the world with reassuring dreams. Happy dream. At least that's what I was designed to do. More tapping at the window sounds, only louder this time. 